Welcome back, people. This is The Escape. A bloody big one. See, you can tell I'm British. You can tell I'm British, I said bloody. Yeah, this level is pretty much a pain. You'll also see there's a lot of Tony Hawk Pro Skater references in this game. Because uh, they were make they were making that game as well at the same time, and yeah, everyone knows that everyone knows that in the Spider-Man universe, Tony Hawk's a big thing. Take out these guys, and then oh yeah, I got my shield back in again. Eventually, they'll blow up that building inside Web Cartridge, and another comic. Golden. That was in the one that, that blew up, not that one that went in there. At least the first part was short. This is the second part we're going to be scaling the building. Whoa. Basically, any bit with cardboard. Any bit with cardboard is going to get blown up, so you want to stay off the cardboard bits. Which is kind of impossible at times, so you just gotta be really quick going across them. Yeah. <laughs> the fire textiles on here are brilliant. Run, 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 run. Oh, God. Ouchies. I hope there's nobody in that building. And there's a checkpoint. I don't know who this guy is. Apparently, I've heard rumours that this guy on the gun shooting at one now is either just a random police guy, random SWAT team leader, or it's Punisher. And Punisher's actually in this game, so it, it could be. Um, Punisher doesn't come in until a bit later, though, so... I'll not ruin too much for you now. That's the second level done. There's about five levels though, so it goes on for a bit. A bit too long. I'm innocent! I'm sure you are. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I actually do think he's innocent because I was actually there. Controlling him. Because he's a video game character. At the moment. Let's up. Swing, swing, and I, sp I swang to close to. I don't know why I'm doing the German accent. I, it's not even a German accent. It's just me putting V's where the W's are. Learn it, McLaren. Anyways, across here there is another comic book, and this is the Green Goblin's base. Gee, I wonder who those pumpkin bombs belong to. Even I know that's the Green Goblin. Anyways, now we've got, like, armor. Yep. Why is the Spidey armor in the Green Goblin's hideout? We will never know, because he's not in this game. Which is a shame. There's a couple of Spider-Man enemies who would have been quite good if there, were, if there was a Spider-Man 3. So I don't count them. Because this was the end... This and Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro were their own series, and then they started the movie games on the PlayStation 2 and 3. They must have used about 10 of the Spider-Man enemies, but there was a couple they didn't use. They didn't... They didn't use... Um, oops, going across. Tinder level. There's another one coming. But they used about to go but 10 up. of the Spider-Man enemies, and there's a couple that haven't used, like Green Goblin hasn't been used, um, Sandman hasn't been used, the comic oh. book's on the um, on the left side of that building. Who else haven't they used? Chameleon, they didn't use Chameleon. Um, 
Enough with the shooting already. There's obvious ones, but I'm not a huge Spider-Man comic fan. I'm not a big comic fan in Where is I'm not he? a big comic fan in general to be honest, but I know quite a few of the Spider-Man enemies. If not just from the movies. Where'd he go? The movies and I saw How tall bits is of the TV thing? series and bits of information from this game, etc. That was actually that was actually supposed to be a lot harder, and it wasn't because it glitched so that it didn't catch up to us. I don't know, whatever. This is the end of this level. Crap! Blimey! Next level. See, this chase goes on far too long. I'm already a full this is a another escape level. This is like the fourth one already. Monsters infest sewers. <laughs> oh, that's a reference to something that's going to happen a bit later in the game. The monsters infest sewers thing. Yeah, you scoff now, Spidey. These guys won't let up. Take out these SWAT team guys. You know, for New York's finest, they're not very good, are they? <laughs> Another found. comic book. Oh, giggity. You know, the ironic thing about that is, I don't even like Family Guy. I actually detest Family Guy, but that's a completely different matter. This is Spider Man. Spider-Man is actually my favourite comic book hero, but it's not really a choice. I don't like Superman, I don't like Batman. Other ones, like the less I know in ones, Hulk. Although he's a bit weird. Um, Green Lantern, stuff like that. Nah, I'm not a fan, really. Spider-Man's my guy. No gay. It's a load of web fluid sticking you to that wall. Well, it's not the most romantic proposition I've ever had. Black Cat? Oh, I'm so glad it's you. Good to see you too, big boy, but you got a problem. Venom's got control of the Jumbotron in Times Square. He's been ranting for hours with a message for you. Venom's ugly face on that big screen? Now that's scary. That's not all. Rhino's on a rampage over at Omnitech as well. What is this, the bad guy Olympics? Look, Times Square's on the way to Omnitech. Let's find out what Venom's up to, and then we'll tackle Rhino. <laughs> The Venom Marathon continues on the biggest TV in New York. We're shouting out to the whole big rotten apple here, people. <laughs> Sad thing is, he'll probably get his own talk show for this. So, we've got this beautiful redhead. You know her. She's one of those famous spinbows. <laughs> we have decided that this poor little lassie has 24 hours to live. 24 hours! Oh, by the way. Her name is Mary Jane Parker! <laughs> no, Mary Jane. So, just in case someone, I don't know who it could be, if any of you tight wearing freaks out there want to save little Miss Fashion Model, then bring it on! Meanwhile, New Yorkers, the Venom Marathon will continue! Listen, I realize what this means. Forget about helping me with Omnitech. I can handle Rhino. Rhino by yourself? Thanks, Cat, but no thanks. Look, being Spider-Man has given me a lot and taken a lot away. But one thing never changes. My responsibility to use my powers for others before myself, no matter what the cost. There are innocent people at Omnitech, and they need our help right now. I won't let them down. Then I'll stop Venom. And this time, it's for the last time. Well said. But finally, that chase scene finished. That was far too long. That was like six levels of a chase scene or something. That was ridiculous. And they're all super short as well, but oh, it seems a bit pointless. Anyways, move on next time for the next chapter, Rhino's Rampage.